Greetings, it's your girl Rempet back again with another podcast. I'm going to do something slightly different now and I'm going to introduce something that um, um, I've been thinking about doing for some time. Now, some of you know that I read the tarot and I want to kind of do a series on... Sorry about this, there's a bird outside my window, sorry. I want to do a series on um, the tarot cards, especially the court cards, the knights, the pages, the kings, the queens. I want to talk about the attributes of these cards and these energies and how they show up in life, how they show up in situations, you know. The card that I want to talk about today is the Knight of Cups, okay. The Knight of Cups in the tarot is, when it's upright, okay, because not everybody reads tarot in reverse but i do so but let's talk about the attribute of the the knight of cups the knight of cups is usually seen on a horse white horse coming in with a cup you know the cups usually contains his feelings his emotions um the cup can also be friendship a cup of love a cup of friendship apology it could be even um but it's heartfelt okay or it's meant to be heartfelt when the page of cups is reversed not the page of cups sorry The Knight of Cups is reversed. It means that this person is a charmer, a philanderer. Um, It can mean somebody who um, plays with people's emotions, takes somebody's love to give it to, you know, messes, messes around with one person to go with another because knights in the tarot do not stay. They don't, they're not permanent fixtures. They, They pass through, they have a job to do, they do what they do and they go then move on. So you have somebody who love bombs. They will love bomb you to death. Oh, I love you. We just met last week. And all of a sudden now, y'all don't, you can't manage or live without each other. Um, you know, y- you just met, you know, and next minute you're proposing whirlwind romance after a month of knowing one another. You have to really be careful because that is the kind of energy that we're dealing with with the Knight of Cups. Um... So how that energy shows up in, in day-to-day life? Now, I'm talking about relationships and friendships, like love relationships, romantic relationships and friendships. You might meet someone, could be online, could be on, in a bar, could be in, in the library, wherever. And very, very quickly, you become very emotionally attached, emotionally, um, you know, involved very very deeply involved with each other very very quickly that's the knight of cups energy in love relationships that can you know the the person could be very good with their words very they know what to say they're very charming um they you know they will pour out their their heart and emotions and these people will even recite poetry you know these kind of things but the problem is is that they're not permanent so with all that love and affection outpouring of whatever, try and know that they've done that to somebody else because they move around, they don't stay, okay? And when you are, if you are someone who um, maybe in the dating scene now and like I said, you come across somebody who's very emotionally attached to you very quickly, you need to distance yourself. And that goes for friendships as well. Friendships, friendships where you bond over possibly an emotional, an emotional um, situation. You might bond over something very emotional. Um, you know, or you can be bonded. It could be good or bad. The emotional thing could be good or bad. But if it's a bad thing, this it, it becomes a trauma bond where we're together because we share the same kind of trauma. I think I've mentioned this before, but I haven't mentioned it on this platform. I've I've talked about this before, love bombing and trauma bonding. You know, they love you so much. Every day, you're my best friend. You know, we're going everywhere together. We've only known each other for two weeks. Yeah? There's something very unhealthy with that. Relationships take time to grow. When you get to know the person, you get to see who they really are. Because, you know, two weeks into the situation, people very, very rarely show their true colours in two weeks. Yeah. Friendship, relationship, whatever. So just be mindful. 
of that energy of the page of cups sorry the black is in page the knight of cups the um i'm not going to talk about the physical attributes of the person um uh, of the knight of cups i'm going to talk about this the the the, the you know the 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 energy around them how they show up because these these kind of energies the knight of cups shows up in different people different bodies different hosts male and female so it's now it's time to help you with you know recognize when this energy comes into your life so if somebody comes into your life and all of a sudden they can't live without you you've just met this person they can't live without you your best friends oh i want to marry you after a month me you know you need to take a step back because chances are this person has done this before to somebody else and chances are this person is not staying in your life they're they're getting something from this it is a form of narcissism as well so just be careful, okay, of this energy. So that's the pet, sorry, the knight of cups, okay? I hope that helps someone. We'll speak again soon. I'll be back soon with another, another, um, another card, okay? Take care.